Extensive damage was done to one of the old wooden buildings housing prisoners at the Camp Street Jail, as protesting inmates still felt that they were being ignored. The new wave of unrest began early this morning as inmates in C Block smashed the wooden walls of the building's third floor. They broke off pieces of the wall and pelted security officials and other passerbys with rocks, items in their cells, and even pieces of the building itself. As the destruction occurred in C Block, loud banging could be heard as the prisoners in the neighboring cell block attempted to smash through the zinc roof of the building. Once the men broke through, the inmates individually voiced their frustrations to the media. Their complaints were many, but the crux of their arguments was the desire to receive fair treatment. Soon thereafter, security forces deployed tear gas canisters to quell the uprising. Still feeling unheard, the prisoners continued to demand to speak to members of the government as they began to burn the building. The Guyana Fire Service was on hand to extinguish the flames. As the events unfolded, dozens gathered outside of police barricades hoping to hear word of their relatives' condition. One of the people was a local resident and mother, Susan Thomas, who was also at the scene yesterday. I ain't got no information about my son as yet. Nothing as yet. I'm waiting. God must. Um, you tell me to say by this afternoon, I'm not going to wait. The crowd swelled as the morning went by. Lack of information and distrust of the authorities grew by the minute, which caused rumors and speculation to spread throughout the crowd. One man who also wished not to be identified leveled a heavy accusation against the government. But we in not up. We, we could do this as going on here, sir. We don't know. It's a whole politician thing going on. Yeah. Watch them change the prisoners from a location and put all them dangerous man in one location. And then you next day they get fire. He's here to make him. Next day they get fire, buddy. He saw people out out. Then the man will come out and he should take gas inside there. Because he's punched. It's more about it. Though the issues the inmates complained of are ones that existed under the previous administration, it is the existing lack of confidence in security forces and lack of change that ultimately led to the men making their demands through such violent actions. Eventually, the prisoners received one of their demands. A top government official came to meet with them and discuss their complaints. Basil?